Yeah. Was there any day you ever like walked into work and looked at the script and said, "Oh God, I gotta do this one"? Today? Oh my God, there were so many days where I was, <laughs> yes, there were days when I'd go in and there I'd look at the script and go, "Oh God, that was that was a to be honest, quite a few days like." Especially once you have one day where you have to scream at the top of your lungs for hours. <laughs> to have to kind of wake up and do it the next morning is just a beating. And uh, my voice was just trashed by the end of the first time we worked on Dragon Ball. It was, it was really, really hard. Uh, yes? Did you ever lose your voice? Uh, I, I would lose my voice a little bit, but I never lost it fully. I never had full laryngitis, believe it or not. No, I mean, a lot of actors would, like, it, but for whatever reason, I was doing such constant damage to my voice, that I guess it didn't hurt. I guess it developed this, like, layer of Kevlar in my throat. Because uh, I literally would taste blood after certain sessions. Like, I'm not kidding. It would have hurt, because you scream that long, and your vocal cords just tear and whatever. Um, it's all for the love of it. And um, your vocal cords tear, and then... You think you're done with the scene, and then the character is still screaming, so you have to do it again. <laughs> or the engineer's like, oh, yeah, that one blew up, actually. We peaked on that one. we got to do that one more time. Like, oh. Yes. Oh, wow. Joint union hand of love right there. Yeah, I have to ask about that. Uh, voice message Krillin call. Voice message to Krillin call? One where Jack sounded exactly like Krillin calls you. Mondo so. cool. Oh, oh! I'm going blank. I'm wait. I know, I know the call, but I don't remember. I don't remember it fully. I have a really bad memory. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, oh God, uh, I'm, the details are so fuzzy with this. I know, I remember like only bits of this. Will you tell the story real quick? Do you remember it? Mondo yeah, I, I could see that. I, I remember who that guy was, too. And he was sort of right, though, because those, those early scripts really were kind of weird. They, I mean, if you go back, er, almost every other line started with, hey, and, <laughs> and there was, like, Mondo Cool and everything. And the reason why we had to start it in hey is, hey, is because for whatever reason in that particular dub, it always started with, like, a single syllable word. It goes, like, blah. Blah, 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 blah. So it's always like, hey, I've got a question. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and if you didn't do a 8,000, uh, you, you hadn't worked on Dragon Ball. Like, I mean, you were lying. A awesome green uh, microchip dress lady. Have you ever passed out in the sound booth? Um, I have come very close. I've hyperventilated a lot in the sound booth, but I'm, I've been very lucky not to pass out. A few people have, like Eric Vale has passed out in there once before. Uh, Sean Schimmel passed out in there, I think, once before. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's been some near, near accidents in there. Yeah. Well, cause you, just, you just get so carried away because you're staring at the screen, you're so focused, and you're, and you're screaming so loud that you just kind of forget what you're doing for a minute, and then you realize that you are, and then you feel really dizzy. Um, uh, yes? <laughs> what was my reaction to how popular Over 9000 video is? It's, it's, it's a very weird thing for me, because, uh, because you guys know that that's, like, in that first iteration of the video, that is not my voice. You guys know that, right? Like, that's, that's Brian Drummond's voice on that one. Some people don't know that. But, and so I, I used to try and explain that to people when people would tell me about it. Even though I have since, they have used that version of me a billion times, and I've recorded it a thousand more times. Uh, it's, it's become too difficult to actually argue with people. It takes way longer to go, hey man, I don't know, this is a guy with Brian Drummond. It's just usually easier to just give people what they want and just scream over 9,000 and get it over with. Um, <laughs> then, it's, then it's over and then you move on. And then two minutes later you get to say it again. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, it is kind of weird though, because, uh, and I will say, this panel has been amazing. This has been one of the best these are the best questions I've had in a long time. And I think it's because this convention is truly more about the appreciation of Japanese culture, and it's about the appreciation of these shows, and, and less about just kind of 
putting a quarter in a jukebox and making voice actors do stuff, kind of like, uh, you know? Uh, you guys, seriously, like the last convention I was at, or what was I? Uh, oh yeah, I was in uh, the UK. The most intelligent question came from like a 12-year-old boy. Like, I was like, wow, the rest of them were just like, have you seen the New Bridge series? Will you quote this line, New Bridge? Will you say, your mom is over 9,000? Would you say, would you say, Jenny, you're a jerk in Vegeta's voice? Like, and those are all funny things, but we used to, like, like back then, we used to really honestly talk about this stuff, and people would ask legitimate questions, and it just got all weird. I'm sorry if any of you had your hands up, you're like, oh, crap, man. I don't want to scare you from asking anything, but uh, I, have, I have noticed that, like, over the years since the invention of this awesome gadget that I tend to meet more people like this than I actually do face to face anymore. Like it's, so I have like it, at times asked for no videos because it's the only time I actually get to see people's faces because they come up and before they say anything that it's like, all right, now say something. Go. <laughs> Go. I don't care who you are, just say it, whatever it is, or just say that line. Um, so there you go, boom. Oh wow, unity of three hands combining back there. By the way, props and a unique hand raises always do you well when it comes to these things. Yes, glowing face dude. I asked someone who was part of Team Force, the guy who knew the original. I have a question. Do you call that Team Force Dragon Ball Kai is Dragon Ball D essentially, right? You could say that. Right. Three dubs, right? In a way, yes. It is completely rewritten, yes. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? Oh, Tim Gad. Am I going to see you next week, too? Yeah, we are down in Tampa Bay. Oh, Tim Gad. 